Hey, what's going on? We're Headley here in the Young Hollywood studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our new single called Perfect. Hey guys, it's Tatiana Diana hanging out here with Headley at the Four Seasons for the Young Hollywood Studio. Yes. We're very excited, as you can tell. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Last night, I listened to Perfect about 28 times and a half. That's good. It gets boring around 54, but <laughs> around really the 30s, it gets excited off. again. I really, really love that song. I know that I'm not perfect, but I keep trying. Sometimes you sit down in a studio and you're like, let's write a song about being sorry or, you know, or whatever. But then sometimes, at least as a songwriter, you go through life and certain things happen and experiences. And it's specifically with this song, I'd gone through a pretty serious breakup and, and kind of was like, oh no, I'm sorry. Who's laughing now? I'm not alive if I'm lonely. So please don't leave. Was it something I said or just my personality. The first time I actually heard the first the first demo of this song, Jake was actually living in the studio at the time. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty bad breakup. So you guys are already huge superstars in Canada. How has it been the transition mode coming over to the US? You know, I, I really like playing bars and clubs and, and small venues where you could see people's faces and the energy in the room is really tangible. There's something about those types of shows that are uh, Exceptional. I think we're always trying to make a connection no matter where it is because we do do bigger rooms back home. And I remember Bono saying, like, I'm a big U2 fan, I was reading, and he's like, you know, his big thing when they were going from clubs to starting to do bigger, bigger arenas and stuff was to try to maintain that connection with an audience. And I think that's what you're trying to do. She said, You make me better, boy. I just mail you a letter, boy. You know, so you know I'm still in your sweater, boy. So you guys have dedicated fans, obviously. Is there yeah. any crazy fan story you guys want to share with us? We have these fans uh, in this one city, and every time we come there, the mom and her two daughters bring us so much Italian food. They bring these giant platters of like cannelloni and like ziti, and they bring these bags of like Italian subs she makes, and she gives us all these sausages we hang up all over the bus, and oh cheese gosh. and bread. And Are they trying to marry you into the family? I think so. They get a it gets a little invasive sometimes. We had to kind of set Are up some boundaries. Right yeah, they're always like, you love us yet? <laughs> Every time I see someone with a Headley tattoo, it still kind of makes me go, oh yeah, because I've got a like, Almost everybody has like has tattoos, has some sort of band tattoo somewhere. But I saw like a girl with like Headley across her neck That's and stuff huge. like that. And, yeah, it is huge. That's a life commitment. Oh, there is a there is a girl with a picture oh, of dude. my face on her and forearm. It's really good though. It's a really good portrait. <laughs> City cold, moonlight bright, mountains old, I'll watch the water. One thing we try to do is like everybody's gone to a normal rock show, we try to do something a little different. Isn't she beautiful? You know what we did one time? We showed up at a mall in Saginaw, Michigan and like lo loaded, loaded a PA in. And it did was really they know neat. you were coming? I don't think so. I think we just did it guerrilla style. It was That's awesome. Amazing. I think you guys should do that at the Beverly Center. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, at Can uh, I Macy's. Come? <laughs> Can I come? Uh huh. We'll be in the makeup section. Was it something I said, or just my personality? 